Welcome back guys, Electro Beast here. In a previous video I did an unboxing for the MAS and we went into Cody and we could see Cody was a pretty old bog standard bear version. Not much in there. Um, so if you're purchasing for the first time and you want a really easy way of how to upgrade it and just put a different build on the machine um, then this is a way that you can do it so just follow the step-by-step -step instructions in this video I'm gonna go with the Wookiee build and I'm gonna show you the retro look today and just see what you think give it a try if you don't like it you can always put a new one on there um, it's a very simple process and something that you should really learn to do because builds tend to go out of date quite quickly and you know every couple of months you could find that you need to put your new build on there yourself so um, here goes. Open up Cody, you've got version 16.1. So first thing you want to do is go to systems and go to file manager. Under file manager you want to go to add source. Under add source you need to open and you need to open up and type in the URL for the particular build that you're going to go for. Everyone's got different URLs, this one's quite simple. So it's http uh, colon forward slash forward slash and then this one's wiz.wookie spmc. So wiz so http colon forward slash forward slash wiz.wookie spmc.com. Click done give your source a name, it doesn't really matter what you type in as long as you recognize what it is obviously it makes sense to just go with the actual name of the build Wookie. Okay so once you've done that just click OK and then return to so go back out into this system here. Okay so once you come out of here you're in the system menu you want to go into settings and you want to go down to add-ons. From add-ons you want to go into install from zip file and you'll see the device that you you'll see what you've just typed in there Wookie will come up click OK click OK again and it will disappear and uh, what you want to do from here is you just wait for a notification to say Wookie has been installed there we go Wookie add-on enabled and you get a little menu there Right, so from here you want to go to the video add-ons tab, so go to videos, go down to add-ons and click OK. You can see at the top menu there it says Wookie. So you click on Wookie and you've got the selection here of the various different things that you can do. So you can install Wookie. Uh, you can go across and view the add-ons that you've got here. There are particular builds that people within the Wookiee community have made themselves. Um, and you can have a browse through there and test different ones. You've got a tools menu which allow you to erase uh, the builds that you've got on there at the moment. Um, but what I'm going to do is just go straight to install Wookiee. Now from here there are three different versions. You've got the, you've got the retro Wookiee you've got the new look Wookiee and you've got Wookiee Lite. Okay so Retro Wookiee is very similar looking to the existing Kodi uh, that you will have on there at the moment and it's just an original basic look that has what you would expect from Kodi if you've ever used it before. The new look version is a streamlined version um, it's really nice really clean and um, everything you need is going to be there as well. None of these are better than the others, they're all just preferences in terms of what you like. Um, so it's always a good, a good idea to have a little look online and just see the three different versions and um, you know decide which ones that you like the most. Personally I use the New Look Wookie um, for myself just because it's got everything that I need on there. I enjoy the way it looks, it's really clean but you can also just go for the retro one. What I'm going to show you today is the retro look because that's the one that looks most similar to the existing Kodi that you'll have at the moment. So choose retro, go across and click install. 
have you cleared your data first? Uh, normally you might need to go into tools and, and um, clear your data, but because I don't already have a wiki build on there, I'm not gonna bother doing that right at this particular time. But if I was doing this again from a different version, I would go in and clear the data first. So from here, it will just download the Wookiee onto your device, uh, 266 megabytes, um, and it says it's going to take about another three minutes, three and a half minutes roughly. Um, if you were connected via an Ethernet port, it would be much quicker, and that is the preferred way of doing this, um, but I'm only on Wi-Fi at the moment, and to be perfectly honest, for, for the sake of three minutes, I don't think that's too long. Okay, so at this point it's downloaded the um, files that it needs to and it's now just applying the wiki view. So uh, this bit tends to not take particularly long. So it's taking me back to the main screen. So what I'm gonna do is just do a quick reboot and then go back into it and hopefully that's worked and it's now um, got the wiki look on it. Okay, so go into it and uh, it says Wookie Wizard more than a build. So uh, it looks like it has applied it and it has it is now working. So here we go, you've got the Deadpool logo and everything you need. So before you do anything, just leave it for a couple of minutes and where it says it's doing its updates in the bottom right hand corner, just don't even bother touching it until it's done all of that. Um, and once it's you know once it's done its bit, you should have a really nice stable build. Okay so it looks like it's done it's updating for now like I said it could just pop up at any time and want to do some more especially when you start going into various other apps um, but for now I'll just take give you a quick overview of what you've got with this retro build. So movie zone you can see you've got your apps down here um, salts which is stream all the sources really good for TV uh, movies and things like that you've got uh, velocity which is another one for movies and you've got specto movie shortcut if you go into specto you've also got TV series and things like that as well uh, go into the TV show zone another one for stream all the sources velocity TV uh, metallic Q TV never used that before um, stream this TV never use that one and TV mix I've never used that one either um, generally what you find with Kodi is that you will find what works for you and you probably won't use many other apps unless for some reason your usual ones have stopped working um, or if you find that for some reason you're trying to view a particular episode and it isn't available or a particular film and isn't available you may go and explore with some of the other apps myself generally uh, I use Phoenix I use Exodus and I rarely use anything else unless for some reason something isn't working and as you can see in the bottom right hand corner it's again just doing its thing just updating various apps and it will probably do that for a little while especially on the first time the build has been updated you can go into kids zone uh, Angry Birds TV, Velocity Kids, uh, Vahalia Kids. Vahalia is a part of the Phoenix app which is one of the best apps you will ever get on here and that's just basically a shortcut to that particular kids section. You've also got these ca uh, categories up here which is another way of just um, finding different apps. Well like I said you've just got to go in, explore, find out what works for you, what you like, what you don't like. Uh, music Zone, the jukebox is quite good, I've used that one before, um, but again, don't ever use much else. MP3 Streams, actually, I've used that in the past, and that's quite a good one for just streaming bits of music, albums, things like that. Um, you've got your add-on, so you've got your maintenance tool here, so if you ever need to clear your cache, if you're ever getting loads of buffering problems and various other maintenance bits, you can just go in there. That confirms the build that you've got on the machine. And like I said, you can always go in. Phoenix, which is one of my favorite apps, you can go into here um, and you'll find all of these particular sections in there and the amount of content in there is unbelievable. Um, 
So have a little look through, work out what works for you. Sport Zone, um, there are absolutely loads of links for the weekend sports and things like that. Uh, work out what you like, what works for you, what do you want to particularly use and enjoy. Have fun. This is the Wookie Retro Build and uh, this is Electro Beast signing off. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share the videos and we'll be back with more content and more builds in the future. Take care, all the best, peace.